I wrote the book Soul as a result of my near-death experience. I had surgery on my spine, and during that time I flatlined. And I left my body, and I knew two things. I knew I was coming back and I was going to be okay. So I went right to the source. One of the things that I agreed to do was to write Soul. When I came back and was recovered from surgery, I began writing down all the inspirations that I had been given. This message in my book Soul did not come from me. It came through me. I did not make up anything. It was delivered to me to write. God speaks to us through our hearts. It's a still small voice, but it's very powerful. And that's what we want to listen to. So when I was writing and I asked, what is the title of this book? I was told soul, inspirations breathe through my heart because that's exactly how I received them. Because I also asked, what is the purpose of human life? Because I didn't get it. And so the answer was to experience experiences. Spirit wanted to learn more of everything and the way to do that was to individualize and send those individuals, us, down into a physical form to experience experiences. Good, bad, ugly, whatever they are, we learn from them. And sometimes when we learn from them, we change a negative to a positive. So. The, the soul is really God. It's really God in learning form. So that's who we are. Enlightenment comes when we listen, when we meditate and center our alignment with source, because then it just comes, light comes into our consciousness. So when we are centered, when we focus on our heart energy, then we get inspired. And when we have inspiration, that means spirit coming in and into us. So whatever we're, we're open to when we're, we're heart-centered, that's enlightenment. Spiritual growth can be achieved only by the individual reading it to apply what they're reading to their lives. Then you grow spiritually. It, it requires meditation, contemplation, an application of the exercises and the different suggestions made in the book. So it's about changing your life, being inspired, becoming inspired, by simply deciding that you want that, you're open to it. And it's not about the book, it's about the person reading it, what they want to do.